That was the most kind introduction. I have to pay the promise 50 euros now. It was really fantastic. 100. <laughs> no, 100 Deutsche Mark. So we, are, we, we have to be precise. Hello, uh, everyone. I am uh, Jovan Jelovitz. I am here in the position uh, of founder and curator of uh, Melbourne Design Week. And I was, uh, I was, to my big surprise, asked to deliver a speech about design and about the creative industries to a group of uh, bankers, as they told me, venture capitalists and angel investors. Well, uh, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, if you talk about design and creativity and the creative industries uh, in front of an audience of such tough business people like normally, uh, especially, well, almost 100% in case of bankers, uh, it often equals to you know ancient rituals of shamanism. And um, this kind of shamanic rituals uh, were best described by the shamanic protomaster himself, uh, the famous Joseph Beuys, who did uh, the famous performance in 1968 in Düsseldorf, uh, where I grew up, which was called How to Explain Design to a, to a Dead Hair. And this was also the, the, the topic of uh, the presentation today. At his performance, Joseph Beuys was sitting uh, in a very famous gallery for three hours, completely painted in honey and gold, uh, holding a dead hair, as you can see in his hands. And the photograph of this performance, and this is where it gets interesting to uh, uh, venture capitalists and uh, angel investors and investors, is being described by the <clears throat> biggest amount of art critics today as the new Mona Lisa of the 20th century. Uh, a small direct nod to investors in this room. In 1951, when Boyce sold his first uh, piece of art, uh, it was sold for the equivalent of 10 euros. Since his death at auction, the top price paid for a Boyce work is 1 million euros. Uh, it's, a ham it's the hammer price at the end of an auction, for example, for a very concrete bronze sculpture. So. Talking, uh, talking about return of investment and talking about what creativity and design can do for you guys as well. And I'll tell you what, I'm not the only one who's using this example as a citation very often. Uh, there was Mr. Bean as well who tried to explain it that way. <laughs> Storytelling is what makes 
social network stick. In case of social media, photos are the most powerful ingredient in telling these stories. This of course brings us back to conferences, festivals, labs, places of encounter and sharing, places of storytelling. Places like your conference now in Belgrade, which we really are very proud of. You have done a fantastic job, everybody. Thank you very much for inviting us. And places like Delvin Design Week. A lot of people say Delvin Design Week is a very special place on Earth. Top international media say that, like Financial Times, International Herald Tribune, The Guardian, leading global lecturers, curators, business people, innovators from all over the world. So what's so special about it? Let me ask you first. How many of you have actually ever been to Belgrade Design Week, to the conference or, or to any related event, openings, exhibitions? Okay, so about 10 people. That's very nice, thank you. Let me share with you a short movie to the uninitiated ones what it is about. summer 
when, when in the happier times of Yugoslavia we grew up in Dubrovnik, a beautiful city side port, of those ancient captains uh, from Dubrovnik who all had one task when they came back from their sailings to bring back one fantastic exotic new plant that was never before in Dubrovnik. When they came, before actually getting into the old port, old port they had to plant this new plant into a small tiny island in front of the city of Dubrovnik. This is today the place of this absolutely fantastic but wild natural botanical garden called Lokrum. And basically what we did is the same. Belgrade Design Week is our botanical garden and all these amazing people that we bring every year from all over the world are our plants and our idea is that the knowledge that is getting amassed at such an incredible one-off event really stays for the people of Belgrade and for this entire region like some sort of, a, I would say, contemporary botanical garden of sorts, if you want to call it that sells. Uh, yeah, we very soon uh, had also to decide how do you create a design week in a country and in a region without actual design industries. So we decided we would go for the total top. We would invite only people who would answer to the claim of being what we call, and this is our slogan now a little bit, the greatest creative minds of the 21st century. So uh, we looked around, we took a look how <clears throat> the most famous and the most professional um, conferences around the world look like from TED to the London Design Festival that was founded more or less at the same time like us, the venerable Cannes Lions, the Salon in Milan and so on and so on. So we said, okay, let's make a combination. Let's, let us not be fuck idiots. Let's invite the best from the advertising world, the best from architecture, the best from design, the best entrepreneurs. And we always have at least 25-30% of innovators and entrepreneurs. And let's create a very, very unique proposition that more or less no other creative conference like that has in the world. Uh, and here comes some numbers, just to keep in line with other design weeks that you may have heard of. The number I wanted to start with is not on this slide. It's the annual media value of over 2 million euros. Belgrade Design Week creates 2 million euros media value around the world, which is combined more than the three or four or five most famous Belgrade festivals, like Fest, Bit of Belgrade, and so on and so on. Why? Because it is so fresh, it is so different that the top leading global media, at least 20, 25, each of them each year, next to 150 accredited local international journalists, come over and, and have a really thorough uh, uh, investigation and, and reporting from it. Uh, you can see the numbers here better than me explaining it. So it is very clear from us. Our mission is to produce one gripping annual meeting point of global, of global creative leaders with Serbia with a non pore international design conference and centerpiece and at the same time to introduce the entire Serbian and South European creative scene to them. So it is amazing what kind of connections uh, we created in the past 10 years and it is absolutely amazing how these things are being developed today. Uh, this is a bit about our festival segments from last year. We have something preceding the conference which is called Design Labs, those are the workshops. After the uh, conference we have a thing called Design Premiers all over the city, where studios are opening, showrooms are opening, galleries, vernissages. And then during the nights between like 10 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning, we have our notorious Design Nights. Uh, and all of them together were attracting maybe 20, 30,000 people. And more than that, we have like two, three, five hundred top, top leading creatives from all over the world who, for some reason inexplicable to me, have decided to join us in Belgrade. Um, additional to the conference and respectful to economic realities, meaning whenever we can get some support, we continue to develop our next point, which is actually to have a 365 years, uh, days a year, uh, one, uh, uh, one point meeting uh, uh, facility uh, that we edit newsletters, that we create a portal, that we create events like Kachakucha Nights and stuff, something like that, to actually keep in a good training, in good shape, those creative minds. 
here in Belgrade, in Serbia. Um, our mission, very simply put at the end, is to convert lecturers to ambassadors of Belgrade, of Serbia, of, of Southeast Europe, visitors to members, and everyone to a loyal supporter at the end of the day. Um, we create so many effective new tools. We have movies, we have TV chronicles, we have a super blog, we have seminars, we have roundtables. We have, for example, uh, dedicated uh, uh, seminars at least three or four a year. And our final goal will be uh, to open a permanent regional design museum in Belgrade. Uh, our, our biggest, uh, I would say, off the conference project this year is opening a dedicated design library in the National Library of Serbia. And we have already started because out of the 300 alumni that were speakers and lecturers of Belgrade Design Week, uh, approximately 10% are publishers. So each one of them is giving 20, 30, 50, 100 books. And I would say until the next Belgrade Design Week in June, we will uh, have at least 1,000 books to really, for the first time, formally open a design library at the National uh, Library of Serbia. This is this never happened before, and we're very proud of this idea. Huh. Belgrade Design Week exists to be the bridge between the creative industries and the business world, uh, and we are also, last but not least, a serious connection between our famously passionate audience and all these leading global creative minds who, when they come to Belgrade, they also have the opportunity to save their work. For example, 100% Future Serbia. We brought design to the streets of Belgrade with over 100 shop windows for 150 designers, with a map printed in 100,000 copies, with all the locations in the city center, some windows, some works. Uh, our design nights, very important element if you want to meet one of the most important people in the world at the beer later on. Notorious, but also fun. We have a great music program. We brought yellow for the first, I mean, who knows, my generation knows what it means after 20 years. It was the first concert of yellow ever after 20 years. And stuff like that, we really have some beautiful uh, memories to, to exchange. And then we have those design premieres we talked about, very sages and presentations of showrooms and galleries all over the city. We have our own co-produced about 10 exhibitions each year. Last year, this is how it looked like in just one of the stalls at the National Library of Serbia. Or in galleries all around the city. We also do it in showrooms of our partners and supporters. And I was talking earlier about design labs. Those are free entry workshops for students and professionals being uh, given for free by top professionals from all over the world. It's literally amazing. Uh, what kind of work is being done there and they're also very much amazed with the feedback of people we get people from Mexico from America from Scandinavia who are actually joining our workshops just to be able to learn from free from the brightest minds from all over the world this is for example how a typical Belgrade Design Week lecture looks like with 500 1000 people completely sold out each year and we are asking them also a very important question. And here is, for example, one question we asked them about the meaning of design. Design is everywhere. It's everywhere. You know, you think politics is everywhere. That's not true. Politics is just in a few places. But design is everywhere. From the morning you wake up, you take a toothbrush, you take a glass of water, you open the door of your house, you have your blanket, everything is designed by someone in the world. Everything. We're very uh, conceptually driven, very much about ideas. But you know, before we go and do anything, it's, it's you know a, a large part of our process is just figuring out what's the right strategy, what the right you know what's the right creative approach. Um, how should we structure things? What technology should we use? So, uh, so our, you know, our work. When people see our work, they often just think it's, you know, it's, it's very spontaneous. But you know, that, that's actually so much behind it. Paul, Paul was also voted the entrepreneur of the year.
svaki put, ja mislim da nas je jedna ovaj politik ovaj grad. I've never made covers about music. I have never made catalogs strictly about fashion. The thing that I was interested in was, in a way, like a more holistic understanding of modern life. And the, to me, um, the music that was around was, was in a soundtrack to, to everyday life. Design is probably one of the most important events we've got right now. We've branded Serbia in the eyes of the world. I mean, this whole thing about design and art is a big, this is, it's too difficult to go into. They're different things. They're very, very different things. You know, the irony, there's a lot of conversation these days about convergence. There's a kind of fuzzy zone between all of the disciplines in the moment where everything sort of seems to be the same. But all of the disciplines have a very hard center, and they're not the same. So it's arts and lyrics are a daily experience that makes it all much more exciting. And uh, we live in a time when greater art is being done than ever before. So we are all very, very privileged to be able to live in these times. Image you've seen was uh, the famous uh, Simone de Puri, the owner of one of the most important auction houses in the world, uh, Philips de Puri, and he came back just for one day. He came in with his private plane just for one day to Belgrade, uh, and he not he did not only wanted to have a lecture, but he also insisted to show Belgrade his DJing skills. And we had a fantastic DJ a party DJ by uh, Simone de Puri. That's a very unique f feature you can have in the world. Um, yeah, and what you see behind me now is actually uh, what I tried to touch uh, base with earlier. It's the, definitely the most important aspect of Belgrade Design Week. The, glo the global greatest minds of the 21st century who meet each year in Belgrade at Belgrade Design Week. Uh, you see people like Daniel Libeskind, like uh, Konstantin Grčić on the photo, uh, Natalie Krasse. If you ask me why they come, why they choose to come to Belgrade out of the 80 cities that are designing exactly that week, I have no idea. But here they are. To most of them, the participation at the Belgrade Design Week was in the same time their very first visit to Belgrade, to Serbia, and very often to the whole Southeast European re region of 100 million people. And it's also a very unique chance for our local and, and all the regional creatives and professionals to get introduced to their work, to show them in their own portfolios. Uh, and then to get to exchange those ideas live, basically from first row. So here you have people like Ross Lavro, like uh, Paola Antonelli, Tony Chambers, Mario Nani, Jaime Hayon, Luigi Colani, Gaetano Pesce, Jack Ingels, from over 50 countries from all over the world. And it's literally amazing, amazing what they do. And let's not forget that we are at an investment conference here tonight. The gentleman in the middle, Daniel Libeskind came to Belgrade for the first time ever to speak to Belgrade Design Week. On the next day, he was introduced to the owners of the Port of Belgrade, and he walked away with a two million US dollar commission to design the new urban project for the Port of Belgrade. Zaha Hadid is today designing the Beko project in Belgrade. We also brought him here three years ago. Rem Kohas is collaborating with the Enigo project, urbanism uh, on some new projects uh, around the world right now, since they met at a dinner in Belgrade. So it's really, I would say we are very proud of this kind of connections uh, that we forged, and I believe, as we speak now, they're after 10 years of our work blossoming all over the world, from more than 1,000 volunteers and students who had some sort of possibility to get their practices, in many studios abroad to really some of the most expensive creative deals that this country has ever seen that were basically brokered at Belgrade Design Week. And mostly not to our knowledge, we have nothing to do with that part, but we are happy that we brought these people together. And do we even need to add that we got Karim Rashid married in Belgrade? Yes, he came in <laughs> here for the first time ever, fall in love, got married, and now he's uh, Srpski Zet.
<laughs> so basically, that's better than Zenmic as well. Uh, and wallpaper. Here you have Tony Chambers from wallpaper. After being deeply submerged into the Belgrade design scene by us, they voted Square 9 to be the business hotel of the year in the whole world, mind you. So I'm asking, what kind of an achievement is that? Where else is Serbia number one in business, in anything else in the world, besides the beauty of our ladies, their smartness, and our sports people? Basically, do I need to tell that we get no support from the state government? No? Okay, <laughs> you, can, you can easily... I, I believe that they are somewhat disturbed by this kind of uh, developments. But basically, as I told you, it's very important that we bring these people for the first time ever to this region. We're not even concerned or concentrated on Belgrade and Serbia only. These people are professional, multiple dwellers of Paris, London, Tokyo, now Beijing and Shanghai, and that's it, and New York. They, they really have no time to actually believe that there is anything happened aside from this very known territory of this really, really top league of, of global creatives. Since 10 years, now they do believe it, and they actually appreciate it, and they like it very much, as you can see in the pictures, we even have an award, and so on and so on. But it works also vice versa. It's a unique chance for local designers. It's a unique chance for everybody who wants to participate, because Belgium Design Week is an open platform, Whoever wants to open his studio, whoever wants to present his port portfolio coming from the Southeast Euro Euro uh, European region, we are inviting him. There are competitions that we organize, like 100% Future Serbia, but also there are dedicated roundabouts where people are actually visiting open studios and stuff like that. This is what we do, and in the same time, we always, always, always ask them questions from the beginning of our presentations, key questions for our lives and developments, like the meaning of design, that you saw before, and we also ask them, what's the future of design? Uh, the role of design is actually to improve quality of life, and in especially challenging economic times like today, it can show people a completely different way. Through innovation and creativity, we can find tangible new solutions to everyday problems. Encouraging health, healthy lifestyles, adapting to environmental challenges, promoting economic growth and solving social issues. They all require one and the same thing, innovation and creativity. So we asked them, what about the future? Designing for the future is really essential if we are to meet the challenges of an aging population in Serbia, for example, of total environmental change as we see it, and of economic uncertainty. For that, we are the world champions for sure. Let us see a couple of answers we got from our guests.
The key to understanding the specifics of event branding is to accept the intangible deliverables. That's the final outcome of this process. People do not visit festivals or conferences for satisfying any physical needs. They go for creating experience, for education, for social networking, for the spiritual and for the intangible, which is always subjective. But they all have one thing in common. They go for experience. For example, what's the function of design? And I will keep it shorter. Predict these reactions. 
We want to provide the framework only, the inspiration, and we want to let everything flow from there on as organic as possible. Perhaps this is the key difference between us and other global festivals, because after leaving behind all those logistical and financial uh, aspects, the whole know-how around the chemistry of the festival is taking care of one question. Is everybody getting the proverbial buzz from the excitement or not? So to round it up, these are our final slides. The lead team in 2013 is Innovation Squared. Why innovation? Because the sum of social issues we're facing in this historical moment, from environmental challenges to economic crisis, requires creativity and innovation. We need to design, we need to use design as the driving force for growth, and we really need to establish a knowledge-based economy. We need to redefine the current economic model, not only in Serbia, but all over the world. We need to create a more direct relation between investment and innovation. And design is the bridge that will actually connect these two worlds. Entrepreneurs and creatives both have to learn better how to transform a great idea into something that can be taken to market and yet not lose its soul, its artistic value and the impact. We're talking about the whole economy because knowledge-intensive industries range from information and communication technologies to advertising, architecture, from universities to hospitals to building engines, whatever. It's, it's the same thing. And design is a classic knowledge-based industry. Design has been there before, 100 years before, and has a lot to tell and a lot to share to all these big industrial boys. And design is for short the biggest potential source of intangible value we have right now. It's very simple that the European Union, it's, it's a logical conclusion that the entire European fusion, uh, the, the entire European Union is falling back to design as an option to get out of the prices. Uh, numerous strategies, which we are thankfully also part of as members of BIDA, the Bureau of European Design Associations, are speaking uh, in that behalf. Um, so, what's happening here? We would like design to become an integral part of the new innovation ecosystem also in Serbia and Southeast Europe. Uh, we need to adopt this coming decade, which will be a totally decade of design and creativity because in the future we will become more and more dependent on knowledge-intensive sectors. Uh, this is why I want to show you the last movie. Do I still have time or can I just switch on? No, I don't want to, okay. Uh, the last movie was about the culture of design, but I agree we can switch to it and go straight to the end. This is a very important sign that I would like you to remember. In 2013, Belgian Design Week will have an incredible paradigm shift if we succeed. We'll become for the first time ever members of the World Design Festival. This is actually the logo of the senior of the World Design Festival. Uh, we have absolutely amazing also partnership deals. Here are our ladies who are actually having fantastic booklets for you and who also you can you can talk details with them if you're interested. But uh, what, what is really happening is so exciting. In 2013, the world, responding to these changes and to this growing importance of design, is going to have, and this is very great news here for the first time, is going to have the first ever premiered edition of the World Design Festival, and we hope it's going to be in Belgrade. Uh, from the 2nd to the 9th June, yes, you heard it right, the first ever World Design Festival will be staged, hopefully in Belgrade, if we succeed in creating this really wide front of everybody who needs to support it. We're working on it this day. On these days, we will have almost 10 days of exhibition, three key international congresses, live broadcast to leading global web portals like Wallpaper. We tried it last year and now we're finally ready. We have the famous European Design Award as the closing ceremony here in Belgrade. And we hope in a unique form of public-private partnership that we're proposing to the government and to the municipality of Belgrade, we are actually going to succeed. And later on, from 2014, the World Design Festival is moving to New York, to Eindhoven, to Zurich, to Vienna, and so on and so on. But for us, it's very important to here have stated the message now publicly for the first time. You are all invited to see you at the World Design Festival in Belgrade in June 2013. Thank you very much.